so because we were so emotionally connected with the alliance, we obviously were searching for reasons that it ended. And one of the reasons that we have bandied about here is that perhaps Vince McMahon had a deal with Tom Dundon and said, you know what, end this, pull the plug, it's over. What do you think? I highly doubt that. <laughs> I can't add, add, speak for Vince, of course, uh, but I, I'd be surprised if uh, if there was any sort of backdoor uh, relationship that the two have. Uh, Dundon's a successful business person, I think made a bunch of money in uh, Texas with uh, you know, low-cost automobile loans, et cetera. Uh, you know, Vince operates in a much different space with, with WWE, publicly traded company. So I, I really can't you know, confirm or deny there was any contact between those two gentlemen. What about the type of football you want to play? Because the Alliance had a few wrinkles, but it stayed pretty true to what we know about football. Well, the XFL, the first iteration was kind of a wacky version of the NFL, wacky version of football. What about this version? So this version, we want to, number one, avoid gimmicks. And I think there were some gimmicks. Seriously, back in 2001, I'd be the first to acknowledge that. We want to have an up-tempo, fast-paced game. We want to have, you know, 75, 80 plays per team, a little bit higher than what the NFL has. We want it all done in three hours, <laughs> you know, because we think that one of the complaints we've heard from folks is that, you know, these games last a little bit too long. And, and the pace of the alliance time. was the best thing they had going for them. Oh, they, had many ways. They, they had good pace. They had good pace. We're looking at a 30-second clock. Uh, we're looking at a running clock during the first quarter and up until the you know, two minutes uh, left in each of the halves. And we've tested all this stuff. We've got a different kickoff. We've got a different uh, uh, overtime system that, that we really like. We're working with our broadcast partners to sort of figure out a lot of the specifics about that. So we want an up-tempo, fast-paced, fun, exciting game with a couple of twists. Vince asked me to reimagine the game. It was a great opportunity to do that as a football fan. Who wouldn't like to do that, right? Uh, but at the same time, I said to myself, you know, professional football, the NFL level, college football, major colleges, the five big conferences, it's at a pretty good level right now. I think football is being played as well as it's ever been played. I'm amazed by the talented athletes and the great catches and the great tackles and the great moves and the great throws that you see every Sunday and every Saturday. 